hello fabulous Scorpio welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2017 looking at life and love I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw thank you for being here what an amazing month it is we have got first of all this continuation of very powerful energy from last month if you remember last month you might want to watch the video again there was an eclipse a lot of people were talking about that eclipse and this eclipse took place at the very top of your sky so what's happening this month is the activation of this particular eclipse point so it will be the further conversations clarity but also blessings coming to visit empowerment coming to visit at this very part of your sky which of course is career so you can expect to continue to have developments take place on the career front what happens at the eclipse tends to take some time to flush out so this is one of the very important flushing out moments happening this month so you can expect interviews and auditions to go exceptionally well you can expect to hear back and hear further about what seemed to be just the very beginning of an opportunity taking place last month you can expect further developments and clarity of your life purpose so very powerful time fully embrace it and allow those blessings to continue to come in elsewhere in the zodiac this week we do have two very powerful things taking place so one of the very powerful things taking place is a full moon in the early part of the month this full moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with flirtation and romance and creativity and creations and fertility so lots of things covered by this full moon now this full moon is happening very close to neptune in the sky it can feel very miraculous okay so that's part of how this energy can be realized so stay open to it if you have wanted to have a child if you have thought about having a child just know your fertility will be very high around this time this is like that miracle energy that could transpire for you in terms of having a baby so be mindful of that and at the same time you know like i said there's a very dreamy quality to this so it is also possible that um, that you think it is a one way but it is not that way so there's an importance of bringing in some more grounded energy to this but having said that it is a very very uh hopeful and miraculous energy that we are welcoming here and at the same time of course this part of the sky has to do with love right romance and there's nothing like romance to make us feel swept off our feet and living in a dream and it may very well feel that way you can absolutely embrace it but remember that dream energy is very high the grounded energy not so much with this so allow yourself to do what it is that feels right for you to do in any given moment but remember as long as you do what you want to do in a moment then what happens the next moment it really is okay because as we move further into the month we are going to have an uh another new moon take place now this new moon is happening speaking with saturn so it is a very grounding energy a very truth energy and so i feel like if you get way too carried away even though there's you know things that need a little bit more balance you meet someone new you get very carried away you may hear something at that new moon later in the month possibly through a friend that helps ground the energy a little bit so again at the end of the day if you meet someone and you're having fun and you're doing what it is that you feel like doing what your heart desires to do then enjoy yourself and just know that sometimes these things need a little bit of time to balance out now also with this energy as i said creativity is very highlighted with this i love this energy for creativity i think that if you are someone who uses your creativity to your advantage whether you're an artist or otherwise or even if you work in medicine or spirituality this can be a very rewarding time where you have that personal sense of breakthrough and meaningfulness within your own heart but especially if you are working in a creative field uh, this energy can have you feeling very plugged into source and creating things that you feel very very good about now I already mentioned that new moon coming up later in the month now that new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and yeah like i said it could be a friend that delivers some reality check to you so at the end of the day remember their reality check is their reality so you have to decide how much value you're going to give to someone's reality as they choose to share it with you but at the end of the day yes their reality is theirs you don't need to take on something that isn't yours 
also i feel as i look at this that sometimes that particular reality perspective grounded perspective is actually what is needed to help move you towards a more stable and secure future now with all of this stuff happening let me say remember <laughs> with all this happening coming up in a few weeks time coming up next month jupiter is going to move into your sign and it really is going to start to feel like a brand new chapter starting for you and so with all this stuff happening i almost feel like a lot of this ultimately is going to serve and be part of the new beginning coming up for you ahead but there is that sense right now of needing to work out some details and work out some deciding what matters deciding what doesn't as you prepare on a soul level to step into this new chapter coming up very soon now if you are in an established bond as i said when we get to that earlier in the month that particular full moon remember your fertility is very high maybe that's something you want that's great uh maybe there's uh, some ambivalence around that so that is something and up to you to decide how you're going to address the energy of that particular full moon but for all that, it is just downright romantic. So if you are in an established bond, really important to use that full moon energy to reconnect with your spouse, to feel yourself on the same page as them. Because when you're in an established bond for a long time, there are moments when it can start to feel a little bit routine. And this should be exactly what you need to feel yourself connected to what feels very much like a soul mate. What I love about this month for you is that very clearing i mentioned is that you are preparing for bigger for better for bolder and you know it on some level of your soul there might be little stuff that starts to get your attention a little bit there might be some messages coming through some friends with certain opinions but at the end of the day it doesn't matter what matters is your truth and you are gearing up to step into a truth that you can celebrate well, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for it. You can get a video just like this every week and also Jupiter special horoscopes right now and other special horoscopes by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars who get instant, exclusive, expanded horoscopes every week and beyond. Thank you so much for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.